one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here for you today is one that I've been waiting to get up for quite a while. That's what she said. This is an absolutely beautiful 1977 Chevrolet Nova, basically, Chevrolet Concours, and you're gonna get my shadow in this review just because that's the way it's gonna go here to where I don't get ran over. Um, this is a beautiful car. One owner, check the eBay ad. I gotta try and get a hold of the guy again. I believe this car only has 7,200 original miles. And like I say, you're gonna wanna check my ad. I mean, and, and the big thing about that, it's a five digit. It's no way to guarantee that unless I can get a hold of this guy and then he could be lying to me, I don't know. He could have forgot, old guy just don't know what he's got on it. But I drive it, I feel the stick on the shifting, I feel the way it turns, I feel the way it shifts. You're gonna see the tranny on the bottom, you're gonna see the interior and headliner, and I'll tell you, it's not perfect. You can tell he had a little problem there in the front area, but this car is absolutely beautiful, drives like a top, V8, and you're just gonna be hard pressed to find anything this clean. This is a super clean car. Now, before it gets too dark or the shadow, you can see the shadow coming for me, man. Before the shadows get crept up on us, I'm going to get up underneath this thing and show you the underneath. I should have brought a water with me. Ooh, I'm going to have to block some light here. Let's see. Um, that'll work. There we go. Give me a second here. Low level light adjustment. And there we go. Look at this. And wait till you see the top of the motor. I totally, totally believe these miles, and I totally believe this thing was ordered with the factory undercoating on it. Um, there was a little plastic piece that goes down here, like a little thing, and I took that off because it was cracked. 50 cents, that was mine to begin with. But look, you got the factory undercoating on the fenders. Hope you can see that there. Can you see it? There we go. Takes a second for my low level light adjustment to hit, but totally worth it once it does. Now look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Every time I get under here. Right, you can get the plastic piece in between. Everything's there. Now I'm not gonna tell you the car's perfect. You're gonna find look at the back of the tail shaft thing. Oh my god. I just the more I look at it, I don't I totally believe. The mileage. Look at the undercoating. Factory. So, that's my story here. Now, I do believe that the front of the car has had some paint work, and I'll show you that. I think he, like, tapped something the back. Look at that. I believe it's totally original. He didn't have very good aim. He chipped up around that. My name is Nathan, 406-544-6919, reach me anytime, let's get up here and show you that, look at that, factory undercoating all over it, just wore off around the edges slightly, everything about the underneath this car, all the thick undercoating, look at that the label, I just totally believe. And see, you get like dried out rubberized gaskets there. Like I could put a new urethane bushing kit. But you just get oil strewn front to back on something that's not low mile. And look up in there, man. I mean, God. I'm telling you, that cat, everything is just so beautiful. I totally believe it. Um, I am 99% sure of it. So, yapped about that for a while. Beautiful car. 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Gonna do this the same way I always do it now, and just start showing you damage, because that's what this is all about, is showing you damage. You can see some of it right there. We'll start at the back. And there ain't much to talk about. Nice paint, clean, not all cracked up on these pieces, which is exactly, I mean, everything about this thing adds up to have been kept in the garage, and just ultra low miles. Let's hope I'm not in their way. Could be, could be. Absolutely straight. Little foul chrome there. 
coming off. Now they're gonna go up there and work. Thank God I don't have to move. This piece is dented up a little bit. He had a little problem at some point and ran that across something. These tires on the back, man, he just put them on. There's little titties everywhere on these bad boys. Nice, good tires. More tread than, oh man. Whew. Little miscellaneous scuffs on the uh, pub caps, wheel covers. I would take them off and paint the wheels just to make it look that much nicer. Same kind of ding here. Very nice. Couple scratches on the door here. Along there. Such a little chippy thing there. Couple chips along the door from opening it. Very nice. All the chrome's in great condition. A little checking up here. Hardly can tell. Now the top's in great shape. Very nice shape. Nice, even got some squishy to it, so. Squishy? What's a squishy? Some guy commented on my one of my videos. He said, it's another Natanism. A flipper flapper. Oh, it was a GTA video I just did. I do like a Pontiac GTA. Yeah, I got some Natanisms, that's for sure. Now, I believe he dinked something with the front. And they painted the front clip. You can see all those checking here from the original paint. And I do believe that from here back, the cars are completely original. Um, and then, then here, they repainted a match and probably did a pretty good job until this faded out over the years. And I think the old guy did the same damn thing to it. Bam! Right there. I think it's just that's the way it went. Um, so you're missing that. This piece could be straightened out pretty well. This piece could be... Add some fiberglass and make that all straightened out. I didn't want to get into it, get into color matching, and add a bunch of cost to the car. I just want to sell it kind of like it is and make you the deal in case maybe you want to go a whole different color on the car. I don't know what it is that you need to do. You might want to go black. I like these. The rubber pieces are in great shape. I like the little lights there. And small crack in it right there, just small. A couple little small cracks actually, but it's in shape. Um, oh yeah, well I'll pop that at the house anyways where you can see a couple light spot right there. So you can see what it needs. It's not perfect, but oh my is it just as close as you're going to find for an original old car. I'm going to go ahead and go down this side, show you this side, and then we're going to go up to the house. I'll show you the interior and show you all that good stuff. And we'll go for a test drive, test drive, test drive. Need a lens on the other side, it popped it in, you can tell. Pretty straight on this side of these, a little scrape here or there. Scuff or ding, whatever you want to call it. A Natanism, he said. I like that. A little bit of overspray on that piece. You know, seems to me like that's been changed out. And that's the whole point of these videos, is to show you damage. I'm going to go to the other side. And that'd be like fixage. Yep. Unless they came like that. That could have came like that. It sure did. I think that might have came like that. I don't know. This piece is cracked there. Good thing I did that to where I could tell. Man, they sure might have. To give it that impressive look at the front, I'm not going to say. I don't know. I know it looks pretty good. I know the top is not all dried out and crappy. Got a nice looking seam going on the middle. It's in good shape. Not all tore up. The only blemish I really seen earlier was right there. A little slice it real quick. Oh man, look at that package tray. I'm here to tell you, I believe these miles wholeheartedly. I'm getting towards 99.5%. These hubcaps are not as dinged up. There is a couple imperfections. I just want to be completely honest and show you everything. That's dust right there. Like I say, the fake uh, chrome trim, the plastic on it's coming up. And these pieces just get a little faded over time. Chrome is in beautiful shape. Light little pieces starting to do stuff there, you can see trim around the window, the stainless is beautiful. A couple chips on the windshield. Small. 
should be addressed now if you got a windshield repair kit at the Walmart. Great shape. Just a great shape car. A couple little that's a ding, double ding, double ding. A little scratch. And man, that's all there is to talk about, I think. I don't think there's much more of anything on it. These little things around here, a little. Yeah, this is kind of discolored. Looks like it's almost got a, it's just something, hard water spot type things or something. I can hardly see it. I love the lights. And the rubberized pieces are in great shape. You know, there was a sticker on there, and I'll bet you we took it off. It'll blend over time. Small crack in that. A little rubberized piece there. And like I say, I'm just looking to show you any little scuff like that one and damage whatsoever. Dunlop SP60s. And what I wanted to check on that was, no, they do not match. These are a little, they still got little, these have got little titties. These are A cups. And they, is an A cup what it is? I don't really know how that works. Yeah, they're good tires, but not brand, well, the other ones, the guy just put on a while. But, oh, we hit the shadow time. Ooh, buddy. That is beautiful. This car drives so nice. It just floats down the road floats no joke um, let's get into this a little bit while we're up here you're gonna have to get a basket bezel a basket bezel I like how they're recessed into it a bit maybe they recess too much into it I don't think so it's all about how it should be but this is cracked or you could fiberglass the heck out of it and fix it hard water I think there's a couple hard water spots and same thing here it's cracked Beautiful car, it really is. And a couple of chippy dings. Chippy dings! That's why I said chippy ding, because it's a ding with a chip there. This is just regular chips. Not the kind on motorcycles either, okay? Well, that's your once around, your twice around, your dent around, your underneath around, and all that good stuff. Um, I gotta go show you under the hood and go for a test drive. Oh, I can see the interior now. It is so comfortable in here. I love these little fins on here. This car is sweet. And you don't see another one with someone with them. If you do see a nice Nova, hang on now. God. That opens so tight. See, there's a little bit of shake of something in there, though. Just to where you know. That's a little loose. Just because it's loose. All these oil change stickers. There's one on the windshield now. Drove it 300 miles in the last three years, yes, sir. Um, about 100 miles a year. Well, look at that. Let's get up there. Because I don't like having the double shadows and stuff, but absolutely beautiful. Here we go. Oh, that and the sun in the lens. Sun in the lens. Two sets of keys on the ring. Original set, you can tell. It's not used that much. That is an original key. This car's original miles. It really, really... Hey, I mean... I'm gonna do it again and it'll just be... Oh, God. You hardly have to touch that key. Cold-hearted a little bit. You gotta warm it up. Love these old manuals. No, I don't love manual. I love these old manuals. I'm sure manual's a good guy. See, it's missing that chrome strip that goes right across the front. That's what I thought. They definitely have a unique look to them. That's your car right there. Call me up, Nathan, 406-544-6919. Automatic overdrive transmission. Is that what that said? I think it's just what that said. So, I'm out of here. I gotta go. Gotta go. Change, wow! Change oil every 7,500 miles or 12 months. Think about that. Except under the following conditions. Trailer point, extensive idle home. 3,000 if you're doing. You know they want you to change it just right now, man. Brake light comes on every once in a while. It's, it's just so powerful when you put it in gear it's right there right now and V8 
gets no nicer. That's just, and a short turning ratio and everything. Totally sweet little car to drive. I'm sure over time you'll replace something on it, but I'm gonna slow down a bit here to like 20 or so. The brakes, everything works so good. Just right now, right up to the 40, temperature gauge came on. Um, and that's when I first started it up anyways. Sun in my eyes there, it's hard to see going around the corners, man. Popped out from behind a tree, it blinded me. Just for a second. Oh, goodness gracious, this car drives so nice. And I really just can't believe that it has any more miles on it than what it says. Um, it turns so nice. So, so, so nice. Look at that dash. I want to say there's no cracks in it, but I can't be 100% until I get back to my house. And check it out. Oh, right there, right down to the boots. Woo, buddy. And it shifts just like it should. Yeah, I don't understand the temp gauge there. Must just be unhooked or something. Oh goodness, you lightly push on the pedal and it goes. Just goes. Corners nicely. It's corner nicer this way because the sun ain't in your eyes. And like I say, I'm sure you run it over time, run it for a couple years, you'll go through a fuel pump or a starter or God knows what. All the parts for these things are so cheap. Oh God, that feels nice. Such a nice car. Okay. Well, it also had this in it. Kind of cool for the seatbelt adjustment. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And tell you that you gotta kind of put the old something to it there. Now look at this dash. Not sun dried. I mean, we're talking, watch the spooshiness. Spooshiness? Is spooshiness a word? No. I don't think it is now. Spooshy would be the singular, regular part of that. Look at these, I'm telling you. And they're so soft. And this, these things give out, okay, at 107,000 miles. That's what they do. There's dust here, okay? Dust, because we don't clean these things up good. Look at that. Look at the way these guys clean this stuff up. I don't know about that. It's just clean as can be. Fisher body panels. Woo, buddy. Body by Fisher panels is what I meant to say. Now, this here, I think you just drove it to the store. You get in and out, it's going to rub that piece off. But it also would be ripped up a little bit if it was 107. Lumbar crack, right there. That's the only place I can find in here. It's just beautiful. And like I say, it's a five digit. So there's just no way to know for sure. But this paneling and stuff around the wheel, especially in the inset here, starts going um, at 107 and before. That just rubbed the top off there like the pedals sometimes do. But as you can see, there's no wear. There is no wear down on that. Same thing on this. There's dirt in the pedal. See the little gravel rocks? But there's just no wear. It's not worn down any. Look at this. No wear. So, and look at that, look at that rubber. Oh man, it's like new. Well, let's be honest. It's not like new, it's stinking 10, 20, 35 years old almost. The matting behind there, oh my God, I'm telling you. I believe wholeheartedly getting 99.6. I'm at 99.6 now. 99.6, do I hear 99.7? I'm at 997. I think I'm almost, look at that. That was like the original factory little sticker that told him this is a blinker. And I just accidentally tore it off. I'm going to take it off. Anyways, it looks better. I don't know what that was. It sure could be. I'm So just nice as can be, 
and grab the keys here while I'm in here. Now, one thing about this car that's just absolutely beautiful is the headliner. I'm serious. It's like a beautiful color. And not only that, it's just in great shape and pops with the, look at this, it's all squeaking everywhere I put my hand and stuff. It's in great shape. Oh yeah, no hood latch from the inside on this year. And these doors, you push that handle and they feel just, I don't want to say like new, the car's so old, it's 30 something years old. You know, and this is just, you know, time on it right there. And this here, oh man. Hey Trent! I need a Windex and a rag. Back seat's in just beautiful shape. Hey, that stuff will work. Show them how we detail cars with this part right here. Oh my gosh. Now oh, whatever, this something's gonna be forgotten. At that, I'm telling you, we just didn't put a big detail on it. It's like some stuff comes through and sometimes it don't get the quality it should deserve of whatever because well, it's all crunched in the front a little bit, or this, or that. Well, I'm here to tell you, this is that. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. Shiny as can be, you're going to love this car. That's all there is to it. I just wanted to show you that this black here is just, you know, and I can sit here and rub that. You could get it off. It all just comes right off. It's in beautiful shape. So, that's that. A little brush in there. And that's why my hands are always dirty, and I got grime. Look at that. Carpets are beautiful, beautiful, and but they're discolored from having a floor mat on them um, over time. Kind of shaggy on the carpet. Not Scooby, shaggy. Beautiful. Oh man, and this is usually all dried out over the years. This ain't dried out at all. Look at that. It's a scoochie. <laughs> I like that one now. Rare package tray, just beautiful shape. Everything about this car. I, I 99.8. I believe 99.8% now. We're almost completely convinced. Come on now. Hey, give me a hand here if you would. Still got the jacking instructions and stuff. Straighten it out a little while I show the inside. If you would, please. Them seats are just beautiful. And I, what I wanted to not lose track of, it's nice to have someone extra around when I'm doing this because it's hard to keep track of what you're doing. It really is. But this piece is broken. I'm trying to ad lib and remember, I want to make sure and say everything. Oh, it's beautiful, the headliner. And the way the plastic is on it, it's all in such great shape. Oh, I know, I just, I know it's hard to believe here, but this is just. As original as it gets. It ain't never been used or nothing. Beautiful. What are you doing? Was you got hot rod in this V8 or? Oh wait, I drove it last. Of course I wasn't. <laughs> it does drive nice and it does have plenty of power. Look at this. Original. Spatter coat, spiker coat, spatter coat. Yeah, baby. This is so original, such original miles. I 99.8. I'm at 99.8. I believe it that much. Look at that. Look at that. Jeez. Nice as it gets. Um not a lot of air in that. It's holding a good amount, but it's you got a a good 10 pounds light. 10 pounds light? No, I'm a good 10 pounds heavy. Maybe if I lost that, I could gain 10 pounds of muscle. Hardener.com. You need to go there and check out all kinds of free health and fitness and all that kind of stuff. Beautiful in here. And www.oneownercarguy.com. Hey, Trent. You still got that spray? Oh, man, cool. Let's show them how it works on this side. This side, see... <laughs> Dude! Oh, wow. So, Trent's going to have a couple people to talk to about the last detail job. We've got a couple people that worked on this car. And one's no longer with us. And 
that this car was actually his detailed job, and I guess that shows maybe why he's no longer with us. So, beautiful in here. And the carpet, it's definitely, um, I think it used to be that color is what it is, and it just faded over time. It's a beautiful shape. Oh, the um, radio and all that good stuff work. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Never had a guy come. You get the oddest troll comments and stuff on here. I don't understand what the hell the difference is of showing me the cigarette lighter. Gee, I wonder, buddy. Maybe. Radio works and all. GM Delco. Can't, don't know why I'd show the cigarette. What are you doing, girl? You a reindeer? What's a reindeer? Uh, BeaglesPocket.com. If you like beagles, you'll definitely like my miniature beagles. Because, won't they? Won't they? She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Oh, happy dog. Okay, well, that's the inside. Yeah, I dog puppy talk my little dog. She She's done. She's like, man, aren't you done taking pictures yet? Um, latch is under here. Double latched. And here. Somewhere. There we go. Okay. Wait till you see this. That's what she said. Great shape, man. Okay. Here we go. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Okay, if it had 107, if it had 107, number one, this would be more discolored. All this would be all corroded and discolored. Number two, this wouldn't be so clean. Um, and I know it's clean because, you know, there's a little bit of stuff on the rubber, you know, to make it a little nicer. But <clears throat> what you can see here is that it's the original paint on the motor and everything. And look at the seams of everything. And the way everything is. This piece here. Come on now, where's that going? Has to have something to do. Oh, it's chipped and it was half off there. There you go, that's why your temp gauge ain't working probably. Maybe even just being on there better it will work now. I'm gonna have to try that out. This, the tubes and everything, look at this, the metal on them. I might get a shot of this in the day tomorrow. Because this is just, it's original. <laughs> I, I believe it. The plastic sheath? Oh my goodness, okay. That's it. 98 point, I mean 99.9. .9. And this here. That would not be as shiny like that. That would be all corroded. Um, keep your GM all GM. It is pretty under there. That's what she said. So, you seen all that? Look at this piece. This piece is gets so hashed up and messed up. Not this one. I, I believe the miles. Believe the miles. 305 V8. It's nice. That's all there is to it. And you got a little overspray on the back there from where they did the front. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? She doesn't like that machine over there. Hey, hey, that's good. That's good. Well, that's the front. You've seen the crunchy part. Crunchy part? A little bit of overspray on that. That's where I know they painted the front. Look at that, man. It's not rusty or nothing. It's got a little patina on it from, you know, just sitting. But it's absolutely beautiful. That is your car. Um, it ain't even started fading all rusty up here or nothing yet. Nice as it gets. My name's Nathan. It's 406 544 6919. Reach me anytime. If you don't like buzzers, you have to unhook that bad boy. See, the brake light comes on intermittently. And that template, I don't know why the template's on. It's on when you start it up, so it's not not got a problem with the temp. I love these doors. Gold coin, gold coin. Nope. 
a little chewed up there on that piece just from opening and closing. Sounds like there's a fire drill or something or somebody's bombing us or something. We gotta run. So tight as can be, just like the miniature beagles. Tinybeagles.com. They won't look like a reindeer, but they'll look like a little tiny beagle. See, now she approves of the car. She's like, this is a good car. I want you to buy this car. Yes, sir. Nathan, 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. CerealMarshmallows.com for the same marshmallows that are in your breakfast, morning breakfast cereal. Ooh, buddy, you'll love them in your coffee and all that stuff. Oh, man. Some new websites, MyW140.com and W140s.com. W140S. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Trying to think of any last little things to tell you about this, and I just can't think of nothing. This is a beautiful car. I believe 99.9. .9. I believe it 99.9% .9%, man. I am just convinced of this. So, thanks for watching. Give me a call anytime. I'd be glad to ship it to any port in the world. Nathan, 406-544-6919. We'll talk to you.